Hello. So for the second week running, <laughs> I've worn a high neck uh, that I cannot clip my microphone to without it being like tickly. Um, so I've just sort of attached it with a hairpin. So hopefully it will work. Today I thought we'd take a look at um, the Raban, Raban products. I haven't actually used them. They've been sitting here on my floor in the new products in pile. Everything's covered in fingerprints. Um, but I haven't properly tried it, so I thought I might as well do it on camera. Um, this here is the Fresh Touch Foundation, Real Skin Radiance Foundation. Um, this is in a 20N. It looks like it might be a little bit too dark for me, but we're going to give it a go. So it comes in a plastic squeezy tube, very pretty, appealing. Uh, it's the sort of thing that can go in your makeup bag quite easily. Nice and light. Uh, this doesn't have an SPF in it. Let's pop SPF on because I would never wear any of these without. So it's good to start where we would be. So this is my usual Medicaid. As you can see, I've got so many blemishes up here. I think this is from, actually, I don't know what it's from. I guess it must be hormones. Maybe it's like perimenopause or something like that, or perhaps it's dehydration. I just do not drink enough water. I drink a lot of coffee. I don't know why it's one of the hardest things in the world to do is to just drink water. I even have it here. I just forget to do it, which is quite ridiculous. When I had a look online about blemishes on the temples, it's to do with dehydration, so that's really very possible. Um, and I still can't manage to drink it. Right, now you can see my neck is always a very different colour to my face. So, and we'll see how we get on with this base, but I'll definitely take it down my neck as well. Uh, okay, so this is the 20N. 20N is neutral. I think I'd have to wear this really sheer to get away with how yellow that is on me. Um, so I'm just gonna have a look at one of the other colors. Right, I'm just gonna take that off. I wouldn't normally use wipes. That is not why I'm having a breakout. I don't ever use these on my face, but I'm out of cotton wool. So you're just gonna have to pretend you didn't see this. These wipes though are the absolute best for getting liquid uh, lipsticks off. I have them for when I do like lipstick videos. They're so amazing. Um, right, uh, let's pop the SPF back on and try the other color I have, which is 30C. Clean brush. better. It's funny because it looks super pink on my hand. I don't know if you can see. It looks almost a salmon colour so I was thinking that's probably not going to work. But when you blend it in, it looks fine. looks nice actually. I would want to check this in daylight though. So I've only been sent two colours, so I can't really gauge what the rest of the line is like, but I think it would be probably quite difficult to pick the colour online that you are based on how strong the undertones are on these. But the actual formulation is lovely and the finish is very nice. I'm not sure I don't look a bit pink now. Saying that, it might look absolutely lovely on camera because my camera turns everything yellow. I look like I'm wearing orange foundation in everything for some unknown reason. I don't have concealer from them, so this one is Shiseido. Actually, bear in mind, I have not read up on any of the Raban stuff, and there's a really good chance that I could be using it wrong if there's a special way that you're supposed to use these things, because um, I tend to use things as if they are intuitive, and sometimes they're not. Sometimes you're supposed to read things, and I don't, you know, I'm just not very good at, like, reading instructions. <laughs> so it may be entirely my fault. Right, I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows, and then I'll be back and we'll look at the eyeshadows that I was sent. I've just quickly chucked my brows on. Don't look close because they're not very good. Um, 
while I was doing my brows, I was listening to um, a trial. Anyone else do that? I love trials. I'm kind of obsessed with lawyers. Well, two things. I really love interrogations. Um, I love listening to police detectives trying to catch people out. And I really love trials because I'm just so fascinated by, um, by how clever lawyers are. Because you've got to be so quick, haven't you? You've got to be really, I'm terrible at arguing. I'm just not a confrontational person. Um, I'm not very good at arguing. I just, my brain doesn't work quick enough to come up with like good, good responses. So I'm just amazed by how talented you have to be to be like one of those trial lawyers because you're dealing with problems as they come up, right? Thinking of excuses, thinking of like objections, just brilliant. Anyway, so if you watch interrogations or trials and you know any really good ones that I need to watch, probably I have watched most of them, um, then, because we don't, we don't, in the UK, we don't have um, televised trials like that. So, so it's quite exciting and a bit of a novelty, to be honest. Um, so if you know any really, really good ones, can you just leave them in the comments for me so I can check them out? Okay, I'm just gonna quickly wipe the fingerprints off these things. I always love the, met the metal looking stuff, but it does get grubby really fast. So these are the products I have. I have these colour shots, which look a bit to me like the old MAC paints. And so I have one that is called Cream to Paint Metallic. This one is um, Cream to Paint Pearly. And then I have another one which is Cream to Paint Matte. Okay, I put far too much of the matte one on, so that's gonna look shiny on camera. But right, so matte we have at the end, it's got no shimmer in it at all. Then we have pearly in the middle and metallic at the end. There's not a ton of difference between metallic and pearly to be honest, but matte you can see it doesn't have any uh, reflex pigment through it at all. So um, I'll tell you what, we'll do the matte one because um, matte is probably the hardest texture to work with when it comes to creams, I always think. Now what I've just learned is that you really don't need much of it. So I'll use the smallest amount. The colour here is called would you, as in wood, you know, like tree wood. I'm going to use an old Real Techniques brush for this. So across the eyelid and then we'll take it. It's quite lilac, this colour. Uh, so you would think with a name like would you, it would be brown, but it's not. It's like... um. A dusky mauve. I like the colour though. It's gorgeous. It's going to look amazing if you've got green eyes, this one. The only thing is, it's a little bit of a faff because it's in this packaging. I tell you what though, that goes on super smooth. It's lovely. Now, because this is a first impressions video, you're probably gonna think that I'm being really harsh on a brand. I'm not, it's literally how my brain works when I try a new thing. I'm always like looking at it going, how does this, how does this work? Why does this work? How does this work for a person at home who has no experience with makeup? How sort of intuitive and easy is this? I'm gonna take a bit under the eye as well, just a teeny bit. That color is lush. The only downside to that is that um, I find this a little bit impractical. So I can imagine the reason it's impractical is because they really love this texture and that's the only way it can be packaged. Um, but it is gorgeous. It goes on so um, kind of flat and flawless, like no drag, nothing. So we'll see how it lasts. Um, then over the top of that, I am going to put some eyeshadows, I guess. We might as well have a look. So these are the things that I have. I have like a gold and a silver. That's not going to work with this, but for another look, yes, but not this. Um, and then I have, oh, maybe that's a good option. This pink and this kind of like icy, um, it's like an ash brown, very ash brown, or maybe it could even be pewter. Pewter is the colour. Yeah. Then we have like a champagne colour and a warmer brown, a bit like wood woodwinked. I guess if you wanted MAC alternatives, that would be like an old satin taupe and maybe that would be like mulch or woodwinked. Then what have we got in this one? Um, we have some mattes and some oranges, but maybe I'll save those for another time. I think what we'll do is we will do, um, we'll do this 
pink because it's quite nice and this pewtery colour. Why not? First of all, we'll have a look at the pink using a brush. It's very shimmery and it does lay down with a brush, but let's see if it lays down better with a finger. Yeah, it does. So that is the very nice pink. And then we'll have a look at this pewtery colour. Quite silvery. Very nice. I think that we need to take one of the matte ones just to give it a go really, don't we, to see how it goes. So I only have two choices. Um, I'm going to go for the brown because <laughs> the orange is definitely not going to work. I've got to say I really rate these eye products. Everything I've used has been so nice to apply and then blend. I can feel they're just like, these are lovely quality. Take a little of that along the lash line, shall we? The great thing about having so few colours to work with is that I have less choice. So I've just got to make the colours I have work. Uh, and I wouldn't naturally put all of these colours together, but they work. It does go to show that I bet you have a million things at home that you, <laughs> that you could make work if you just took them out of context. You might be able to see that there's a little bit of eyeshadow sticking here. It's because uh, I must have been allergic to something that I used yesterday and now I've got a little bit of dry puffy skin just at the front here. Sometimes happens my eyes don't like certain colorings they don't like reds at all um, and certain metallics so it's good that I just blended metallic straight into it that will be great tomorrow. Don't do that <laughs> don't do that if you're allergic to things. Hopefully that cream shadow that I put there will provide a little bit of a barrier well, they are very enjoyable to use. I must say, you won't be disappointed with any of those eye products at all. Right, mascara. Um, what does it say on it? Something I can't read. Come on, let's get my magnifying glass. That says, famous mascara in deep black. Bristle brush goes on beautifully. I have to come back to you with um, how it lasts. Nice, very nice. My neighbours are playing, my neighbours on that side are playing, the, it sounds like a transistor radio, really loud, like they're listening to Radio 4 or something. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, possibly not. This, where my office is, is not flash. My, uh, when Ollie first came to visit my office, studio, office, whatever, she went, oh, mum, you're so humble. <laughs> and that was her way of saying, Christ, this is grim. It's not grim. It's just her perception. You know, kids are funny, aren't they? Because they live on Instagram now and they, everything they see, they believe. My studio, is in a building that's just loads and loads of artist studios. Uh, and the hallways are filled with all this different art. Some of it good, some of it not good. Anyway, when you, when you come here, it's like you've gone into a school and you're looking at GCSE art, it's quite hilarious. Uh, right, this lipstick, again, let's get the magnifier out. It is famous lip color in the color Spotted. Spotted. I have three different textures, I think. 
This one I believe is matte. This one I think is matte with a, like a pearl, matte with a pearl through it. And then this one is maybe satin. It's purple, I'm never gonna wear that. Um, so let's do the one that I would wear, which is called Spotted. That is incredibly matte and I've got to use a lip liner with it because it, because of the shape of it, because it's flat, that's really hard for me to get a good shape with. So I'm going to use a liner to get shape. And then once I've got the shape, I'll use a finger just to soften the liner. I'm just going to pop a little bit of cheek on. This one is Nude Sticks, because I haven't got any cheeks. Uh, this is Nude Sticks Tan Glow. Nude is matte, glow core. I just keep it quite high up. I just need a little bit of something, I think. So, in conclusion, I would spend my money on all the eye products. The eyeshadows and the eye products are lovely. The mascara is really nice but I don't know if it runs yet, so I'm just gonna have to wear that for the day, but just on application, it's lovely, right? I really love it. The, all the eyeshadows are gorgeous quality and the creams are gorgeous quality, right? Lips-wise, I don't really like this color, so it's kind of hard for me to really gauge, and I don't like the other two colors either. Um, what I would say is this is matte, and because with matte, you generally need to get it quite precise or you need to blend it in with a, with a finger. So this flat applicator, I find not very easy for getting any kind of precision. Um, so unless you're going to blend it in with a finger, I think it's quite difficult to wear neatly um, and apply on the go, which is something that I often think about. So in terms of the foundation, I actually really love the finish. Um, I don't know how well it's going to last. I haven't got a powder to set it with, you know, of theirs. So I don't even know if Raban makes a powder, but I would assume so. Um, I love the finish of the foundation. The colours, I think, are probably going to be quite confusing. Because initially, if I'd put this pink one on my hand, I would never have bought it in store, but it looks great on. And I would have probably bought the 20N, which is a neutral shade, and it would have been far too yellow. So I would say that you definitely, before buying, need to look at the swatches that they have on actual skin. Um, and that is what I've got for you on my initial impression of Raban that I have, um, and by no means do I have the entire collection, I assume. So that's your lot, that's what I got for you today, guys. Um, if you have any questions about the things that I've tried that I haven't answered, um, then you can leave them below this. Also, if you've got any trials or interrogations that you feel like I absolutely need to watch, then please write them below, because I love those. Um, right, have a happy day wherever you are. Take care, guys, bye.